Now what better way to start the ceremony than thanking and praying for all that we have been and blessed with. Let's start with the prayer. Thank you. After such beautiful prayers, which the children sang, I believe we should spend another 10 seconds to just close our eyes and pray what you would like to pray for. So children, please do not hesitate to close your eyes and just fold your hands and pray for yourself. Thank you. Parents, may I request you to please bless them in your thoughts that they all do very well in life. I know you keep doing that all through day and night, but yes, we brought it as an occasion, so you can do that. So I welcome all the parents here and I can see that mothers have come <laughs> and uh, fathers couldn't make it. So they have sent their prayers with you. So thank you for joining. Um, and uh, students, I hope this message of mine finds you in good health and spirits. With influenza, uh, you know, rising, very important nowadays is just to keep a good health and good spirit. Today we have gathered for a blessing ceremony for grade 10 students who are going to appear for the first time for an external examination which is a board examination. Although we shouldn't lay too much of stress on the examination aspect since you all have been preparing for it all through your life in school every year you have been giving exams every uh, other term you have been giving tests. So it shouldn't be a stress at all. Having said that, it is an important exam for you in the sense that you will be appearing for an external one, not one in the school where you know what your teacher has taught in the class and you know uh, what is going to come in the paper, you know, a good guess. So uh, I'm sure your teachers have prepared you for the board exams also. So we want you to do very well, which I'm quite confident you will do it. They are a crucial part of your academic journey. Uh, as even now, um, with all these years of new education system, examinations still remain an integral part of school academic journey. So, but I am confident that you all have worked very hard and you will shine through it um, at your best. So, as we bless you, we also want to remind you of some things which I'm, I know that you keep getting reminded upon by your parents, by your teachers and sometimes by your elder brothers or sisters or relatives or colleagues also. So first and foremost, what you need to do is believe in yourself. Keep that self-esteem high. Know that you are capable of achieving great things. Once you believe that you can do it, you will do it. And that belief comes from within. It comes with the strength, inner strength of your soul. It comes with a strength which is always guiding you towards the best light. Trust in your abilities and the hard work you have put up to this point. Each one of you is capable of achieving your best. So trust in your abilities. Don't make comparison that my friend or so and so is doing so well, I am not studying, what will I do? No. Compare with your own self that I have been studying, I am confident I will be able to do it and you will be able to do it. If you have seen 
many instances where races are run it and the, uh, the finishing line somebody else is finishing it and then suddenly you see somebody you know adrenal pumping and they go and finish the line first so you never know who is swimming as a duck smoothly on the surface of the water but paddling hard below to get to what they want to do so be like that duck keep your calm but keep paddling fast and hard to get to achieve your goals so that's the second thing that say stay focused and stay calm don't get stressed too much stress is everywhere your parents are stressed your father is stressed your mother is stressed your teachers are also stressed so let them not pass on their stress to you <laughs> okay <laughs> don't take it do not take say no to stress don't take that stress you know you can do it and you don't have to get stressed on it it is not the be all and end all exam of life they can be stressful exams are stressful we don't deny that and it is always important to remember but they are just a small part of your long journey you have a lifelong journey which will begin once you complete your grade 12 where the life will give you every day first an exam and then give you a learning right now you get to a syllabus you get books you get teachers teach you and then you go and give your exams but life is other way around it will give you an exam first and from that exam you will have a learning what you not need to do so this is very very small part of your journey so it's not the be all and end all so do not get stressed i know you all are very confident children so finally i want to remind you that you must stay true to your values and principles that's very important your uh, values in school we always guide you towards mahatma values at home also your parents guide you towards being a good person uh, always seeking out to do good things in life and in your heart you always have an inner voice what is right and what is wrong so listen to your inner voice and do the right thing stay true to your principles stay true to yourself and with these thoughts i know that your academic achievement would be very high and as a person also you will grow very well exams will give you a lot more confidence when you come to grade 11 you will say oh i have you know almost conquered the everest now what is next so with these thoughts in mind i wish you all the best i bless you also and may you be blessed with success happiness and each one of you gets 100 on 100 in all the five subjects good luck and have a good day thank you very much thank you ma'am for your ever motivating and enlightening words now let's get started with our amazing and beautiful performances Let's start by having Jeshita Shivapal perform a graceful semi-classical dance.
That was truly a graceful performance. <laughs> Next, we have our friends Yuna Ono, Shivangi Bishwal, Vaishnavi Manjana, Chitit Bhatt, Bhatt, and myself presenting you with the cheerful performance. That was indeed quite a power back performance from you, for you from grade 9. And so I would request for another round of applause for this very performance. So um, after quite a good performance, we have a game with you all now. And the game that we chose for you all is a very interesting one, which is called Bingo. And we have Naisha here who is going to explain you the uh, rules of the games and yes uh, we also have special prize for the ones who are going to win so now let's start the game and good luck and hope you all enjoy it
end of the uh, event, we would like we have the refreshments outside. So, hope you all enjoy it, and thank you again very much. Thank you.